What is going on everybody? It's Zach Satter here and welcome back to my channel guys. Today we're going to take a look at the Peterbilt 386. Uh, it was released by Robert uh, Modjeski on American Modders Nation group on Facebook or in American Mods Nation group on Facebook. This truck was actually leaked and it really shouldn't have been leaked and for the people that did it you know they're uh, they are actually assholes for that and um, they're, you know that's all there is to it and unfortunately there won't be any more updates to this truck besides what people uh, do with it now I don't know who else was on credit for this truck I just know that Robert Majeski he is the one that, that posted it and it has no uh, credits on there so if you did have part in and making this and like I said unfortunately it was leaked please let me know and I'll add you guys in the credits uh, down below but for all I have for the credits is just uh, Robert uh, it is based off the SCS 389 there is a template for it if you do get it uh, sounds cab options uh, it comes with a cool sticker which is right here which is a big fuck you pretty much sticker now I normally don't swear uh, when I make my videos but you know what um, yeah this one kinda it feels right for this so uh, I do apologize I know there's a lot of probably younger people that watch this but I'll, I'll keep it definitely to a minimum but definitely uh, yeah this this truck was leaked and it's unfortunate what happened because uh, for me just looking at it just how it is and uh, I've actually went and customized a little bit of it it, it, it definitely really would have turned out really nice now unfortunately obviously the lights in the back uh, they don't work because they are based off the SCS 389 which they don't work none of the SCS truck lights in the back don't work at all so which kind of sucks but other than that I will uh, well not I but we will get into this customization on this or what there is to it so to the cabs we have a uh, the duty cabin here which you guys obviously see we have a 36 inch sleeper which is right here uh, we have a flat top sleeper like so and then we have the high rise sleeper uh, if you guys do to, you know choose to take that route I'm gonna go with the flat top uh, I, I like it pretty much the most with this now I wish this would go away there we go so we got that to go away uh, it should just be away automatically it shouldn't actually just be out but uh, that's my opinion on that moving on to the chassis now we do have the we'll go back here we have the 6x4 short uh, 150 gallon we have the 6x4 short 200 gallon obviously no difference besides the fuel tank we have a 220 gallon 6x4 long and then we have the 300 gallon 6x4 long so I'm gonna go with the 300 gallon because you know more fuel go more miles over to the engines really there's nothing too special we have a uh, cat c15 375 uh, cat c15 450 we have the pack mx13 485 we have the cat c15 500 cat c15 550 Cummins ISX 12, 37, uh, 370 horsepower. We have the Packard MX 13, 4, I believe that is 455, yes. Uh, then we have the Packard MX 13, 500. Come, we have the Cummins ISX 15, 550. Um, we have the Cummins ISX 15, 600. And then we have the Caterpillar C15, 625. So those are all your engine options that you have, which, once again, it's not much. But uh, I like to go big horsepower, especially with Caterpillar engines. Once again, it is my personal preference, so that's what I'm going to go with. Uh, I know some other people will uh, choose differently, but you know, obviously that's your your own choice. Over to the transmissions, we have an Eaton Fuller 10-speed. Uh, we have a Eaton FR 10 manual. We have a Allison 4500 six-speed automatic. We have a Eaton RT 13 uh, manual. Then we have the Eaton RT 13 manual with retarder actually they're both with retarders one's a 308 and one is a 355 we have an Eaton RT 13 with a 370 we have the Eaton R RT 13 with a 390 uh, we have the Eaton RT 18 manual with 355 we have the Eaton RT 18 with a 390 and the Eaton RT 18 with a 308 and I'm probably going to stick with the 355 uh, with the 18 speed Moving over to the cab, once again, this is based off the SCS 389. So what you come to expect out of the stock SCS on the inside is what you will find on the inside of this truck. Uh, if you guys do not already have this downloaded. And obviously there's the 
premium ride, which I don't like the seat, so I'm just going to keep it with the the ultra ride. Over the paint, uh, we have paint one here, which I think is pretty cool, so you could actually change this out. Uh, you know, you can keep it how you want, or you could change this. You could change the logo, which I think is pretty cool. Obviously, if you do that, you don't don't really want to do something like that. The roof we could do probably yellow, and we could Oh, we'll do something like that. I think that looks pretty cool. So, uh, other than that, we have uh, we have deep black, forest green, sky blue, store or snow white, uh, dark gray, pure red, sunny yellow, custom color, which you guys obviously see that it does work. Dark metallic red. We have sky blue metallic, um, and then we have the custom metallic, which you guys can see that that works that as well and then the last one so everything works uh, as far as you know paint jobs on it but I'm gonna go back to to this make this yellow again make that yellow and then we'll put these both on black like so over to the accessories not a whole whole lot uh, as you guys can clearly see so up on top we do have a horn adapter so you guys can you know, add your horns. Uh, I do have a bunch of other stuff as you guys can't see, but it's for horns. If I really wanted to, I could add, well, not that one. I could add these spotlights on here pretty much, but uh, that's a different mod that does not come with this truck that I do have uh, that is still in beta. I'm not sure when it's going to be released. Uh, moving on to the cab lights. Uh, I do have, and I will say this, guys, uh, that Busted's W900, I know version 1.4, I think it was the last version that he had uh, put out, it does still work. Um, the truck itself, there's nothing wrong with it. It still works. Everything that comes with it will pretty much work on any truck. Uh, so, like these uh, pedestrian marker lights, um, when we get down to the bumpers, I'll explain more about them. Uh, but they are actually turn signal lights and uh, they still work uh, these all still work these flash um, beacons and all that they all still work all these blinkers and all that everything still works from that W900 so I am letting you guys know that if you really want to customize your truck and make it like way better than you know the your buddies or whatever you could definitely keep that installed and uh, you know, yeah, definitely do that. But what I'm going to do on here is actually add these beacons uh, on here. This is actually from beta testing of Busted's uh, Peterbilt 389. So uh, the SCS one. And that is also, that is actually not released yet. Um, once again, I don't know when it will be. But it does come with these uh, lights up here that have the beacons. So I'm going to keep those on here. I uh, may actually change out a couple more. May, we'll see. We'll do this one as well. So we'll put this one as a beacon. So we have something on the lines of that. Um, or we could do all of them, but I like it like that. Down onto the sun visors. Uh, nothing's changed here. You just have your standard sun visors from the 389. So you got your standard, you got your chrome. You have your chrome sun visor sharp, uh, then you have your chrome, excuse me, chrome sun visor spike. Uh, I'm going to go with the spiked one. Over to the mirrors, we have five different options. Uh, so we do have the mirrors duty, we have the mirrors painted, which is a more, it's a gloss finish. The duty is a kind of a matte finish black. Um, we have the mirrors chrome. We have Mirrors Classic, which is just your normal classic double mirrors. And we have the Mirrors Classic with uh, lollipop turn signal lights on there, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, obviously, these are the two driver plates, which I don't care for. Down here, typical, uh, you have your metal bug deflector. Uh, then you have the, the sharp one, which don't fit on this truck. So I would just definitely recommend taking them off. Over here, you do have your left and right... Uh, hood mirrors so there's the first one obviously there's the second one 
and we'll do the right side just to make sure everything I, I do this one every truck just to make sure everything is you know in place and you know operable so which they are uh, but they're ugly to me so take them off uh, no grow options down here we do have uh, bull bar options but there's no texture with them so if you click on them uh, the texture is actually missing which kind of sucks because I would have liked to add uh, you know some whites down here but they're actually pushed back further than the bumper itself so they're not actually on the bumper which kind of sucks there's the second one We've got the third one and then the fourth one once again not working so just take them off down here with the bumper uh, it's literally both the same so there's chrome one and then there's the other chrome they're both stock chrome so you can't add no lights on there uh, once again I wish you could because I would definitely put those pedestrian lights which are turn signals that have come from Busted's W900 which actually I am the one that gave him the idea for that which I thought was pretty cool same with on his W900 uh, having the same kind of pedestrian lights up on the mirrors as turn signals as well uh, but that's on a you know different related story front rims nothing really too different uh, you know you can add pretty much obviously whatever you want uh, I'm probably just going to do the Peterbilt oval. Uh, we'll definitely put some spiked lug nuts on there. The Alcoa hub, and then we'll do the Alcoa cover, and then we'll just do this like that. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, right here we have the door handles. Once again, it is from the 389. So this is the stuff that you all should you know expect. Because uh, it is based off it. We're just going to go with the go with the chrome for the first one. Yeah, we'll do that one. Uh, here we have the exhaust. So here is the type 1 left uh, stack that comes with the truck. Which normally if you're running single stack, I, I don't normally see them on the left hand side. I usually see them on the right hand side if they are, if you are running a single stack. Um, other people have seen it something obviously like this. I've never personally seen it. Uh, but we will go up here. We have a Keller piece, so it just puts the, you know, just has the grab iron pretty much to help yourself get up in the truck and there's no exhaust on it, which is a nice clean look. Um, you know, obviously, you can choose what you want. You have the plain stacks. You have your standard exhaust, exclusive exhaust, which are also from the 389. These ones might be a little more custom, but I think they're also from the 389. Then we have the mitter cut stack left, like that. Then we have the mitter cut stack right. Once again, like I said, I would personally, if you were going to run a single stack, would just do it on the right hand side. Uh, it just looks better. Uh, or if you're like me, and you like to run dual stacks, you could do the dual stacks. So it's the mitter cut stacks. Then you have the SCR Eco friendly exhaust which is kind of hard to see but it is under very hard to see it's underneath the truck so got that there then you have once again there's the type 1 left and then you have the type 1 right uh, if you wanted to do that like so but I like big stacks so I'm gonna go and just do the emitter cut stack for both like that down on the side here we do have um, EPA 2010 emissions boxes. So those are the boxes there with the the def tank and the, the fuel tank. And then we have the full chassis fairings, which you guys, if you wanted to, you could add on the side like that. Um, would work more better with the bigger sleeper, but since we do have the, the flat top, just go with the the normal stock ones like that. The fuel tanks on the side, uh, you either have chrome or you have painted. So you guys have that there. And I'm actually going to leave these yellow because they're not completely yellow. They have chrome in them. And plus we have more black on this truck than we do yellow. And I kind of want to mix it up a little bit differently for that. Uh, before we get to the fenders, we'll just do the back wheels really quick. I believe I did oval on the front. Yes. So just do that for the back. I uh, don't need that there. Do this one and do the spikes change out the tires like so so 
a lot easier whenever you do the the Alcoa tires because everything's kind of like right there for you. Uh, on the back we have the the mud flaps. Obviously you have standard ones. You have the well didn't get to those the white ones. Um, and then we have a uh, kind of like a deck plating type design on the mud flap there. So we'll go with those ones. Uh, to the fenders we have the Hodge built quarters. So there's the Hodge built, and then we have the stock fenders for your bitch ass, which I think is kind of funny, uh, just because it was leaked, and you know that's what Robert did. So obviously there's no full fenders or you know half fenders. It's just the quarter fenders, which I like these ones better because they're not as dull looking as these ones. They're not you know these ones are obviously chrome, but they're more dull looking than than this one. So I just go with these ones. Uh, moving on to the inside, there's really nothing besides the steering wheel. Um, so obviously, just pick your personal preference what you want to do with that. Usually, I just run the pinion polyurethane. Uh, so that's what I do with that. Other than that, guys, that is pretty much it. Let's double check everything. That's pretty much it for this truck. So we will obviously, um, you know, we'll obviously just start it up. Or we'll trade it in and then we'll, uh, we'll start it up and then we'll do our usual thing and test everything and then we'll drive down the road and all that other fun stuff. Now, as you notice, it, it, it already loaded uh, and I'm probably going to do this more often. Uh, area already loaded for me because I had tested it before, so which is good. We got the sun out. It's only it's only 9:21 in the morning, so I got the sun coming up out of the clouds there. Uh, but other than that, guys, we're going to start this up. Let you guys see everything. So just your normal Cat C15 startup. Nothing nothing special with that. Once again, like I said, I do have uh, Busted's Peterbilt 389, the SCS 389 uh, edit that he did. So you guys will actually not have these. But if you, when it does come out uh, and it does have these beacons, uh, you guys see that up there so you can you know heavy haul with it and still keep uh you know keep the the beacons up there which i think is pretty cool and they also are just normal lights like that so and then they turn the beacons but we'll turn the lights off after we test them so you can see the headlights work high beams they work uh turn the lights off do the turn signals so you got the left one there you can see the lollipop light working the back side doesn't work because it just lights up red like that so but you can guys see that it works you got the rear on the frame there and then we got the right one it works I uh, do the horns nothing special with the horns so uh, there's that we got the windshield wipers it's a little hard to see with the black uh, I'm hitting P and it's not doing nothing so we we'll go on the inside on the inside it's good and it seems like my driver's tired which is okay I guess um, yeah so definitely gonna have to rest him uh, other than that that's pretty much it guys so we will uh, obviously we'll just drive down just let you guys you know see the truck in action for a little bit and then we'll, uh, we'll drive back and obviously give you my final thoughts on it so go ahead and get to it Gonna actually, oop, gonna lower the seat a little bit. Never fails.
not sure what's going on with that guy. But he, uh, he seems to be texture missing himself over there. Alrighty guys, so that was the Peterboat 389. Uh, once again, it was released by uh, Robert Modjeski. Uh, it's unfortunate what had happened, you know, because it was supposed to be a closed truck. Um, but the way things are going now in, in the community, it just seems like people just don't have any respect and they just don't give a damn anymore. Uh, and they leak the truck out and they think it's 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 fun, uh, you know, and it's funny and they, they get a kick out of it. and. When in reality, it's really screwing it up for everybody because, uh, I mean, yeah, this truck is obviously released to the public, but it's not finished. Uh, you know, I was actually going to point this out and I just noticed this. Uh, when you put the, the turn signal on, the left one, the, the right one, on the back actually flashes. Uh, it doesn't do it on the front, but on the back it does. So that's obviously a bug that, for me, it's not going to get fixed uh, unless someone else obviously has this truck and they do what they, they want to do to it. Um, and then if they, you know, decide they want to release it. So, it, it, it's a shame what this community has been doing, uh, lately, and it's, you know, and that's exactly why that, that sticker's on the side there with the middle finger, because it, it, it's exactly the point, because people are just assholes, they really are. Uh, and it is a shame that we won't see any more updates for this truck, which... To me, I think it's terrible because I would have loved to add some side lights on it and, you know, different bumpers and all that. And just, you know, you know, you guys know how I like to customize my trucks. So, you know, just just in general, just to have something like that and, you know, you ruin it for literally everybody in the community uh, that plays this game. And it's a shame that it took two people to do it. And it literally only takes one person to ruin it. But uh, two people leaked it and... Um, there was actually other people that had, you know, that were named. I'm not going to mention any names of who was involved with the leaking, but, um, but yeah, it is, it's, you know, a terrible shame. Uh, but I am, I'm glad to make the review for you guys so you guys could see, obviously, what, uh, what there is to get with this truck. Um, not sure if anyone's going to take it and add their own stuff to it. Uh, but we'll just have to wait and see on that. Once again, if you did help with this uh, before it got leaked and you actually, you know, helped alongside with Robert, uh, just mess either you could either message me on, on YouTube or, or just leave a comment saying you did and I'll, I'll put you underneath the credits. Uh, but as I always do, I always put underneath who the credit, you know, I give credibility to. I put all others... Um, you know, credit goes to the author and all others involved. So I do put that down there as a disclaimer, just to show that you know, I you know I am giving credit. I just don't have your name. That I can't actually put in the credits above that. Um, but yeah, once again, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, we are killing it uh, with you know subscribers and all that, and I, I you know I love it a lot. Uh, I'm also going to leave in the description below. I didn't mention this in the beginning, but I will now uh, give a nice good shout out to uh, two people that have you know starting up on YouTube. That uh, actually it's going to be three people. Um, one of them is Joe Modding. I don't know if you guys you guys have seen his trailer. His trailers before uh, if you guys you know are following him on Facebook um, and his mod group and he does post in a couple other mod groups he uh, makes really good content and uh, the last trailer which I actually did a review on was it's actually his trailer so I will leave his YouTube channel down below uh, as well as Kyle ATS his uh, 
YouTube channel will be down below and Mophead780 his channel will also be down below in the description so please go check them out give them some love subscribe if you have not yet subscribed to them um, you know and just and just show the love and show your friends you know we uh, for the most part everyone in this community is all you know we're all good good people for the most part uh, once again except for the people that do stupid stuff such as leak you know mods and all that but other than that guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please leave a thumbs up you know, subscribe if you are new. We're almost at 750. Uh, trying to push for a thousand before October, so uh, you know, keep grinding on that. Not sure what I'm gonna do for that. Uh, when that time comes, I will figure something out. <laughs> Maybe I'll I'll uh, give a copy away of the game or something, or I don't know. I'll figure something out. Um, you know, and once again, do comment if you did help with making this truck or you added whatever parts to it or helped in any way, shape, or form with this truck or just comment if you have anything to say, you want to say great vid or whatever, uh, you know, just the support itself is good enough for me. Once again, guys, this has been Exeter. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.